on April 18th, 2022, a great battle took place, starting here. S soldiers who fought here on both sides, but on the side of TK alone, have a story to tell for years and years. But this was not a professional army, yet they held back and stood, though they knew that they were in pain. Two brothers, Joshua and Antonio, of, this, of the small recruit army, fought well and didn't retreat but only fell back when the army fell back. This is where the battle began. About hours later, about 30 minutes or so later, the battle would end here with that same soldier and those brothers standing hand in hand. The president, with a shield in his hand, dropped the shield and was not afraid. He said, sing with me. And they sung, we are not afraid. And they weren't. They did not run from the final conflict till the guns were silent. They held their ground as best they could here. But it all started a ways. But upon all these fields and upon all this ground was a great battle on April 18th, 2022. But the battle began before the... There were small skirmishes before the battle but the skirmishes started here on this ground when the army split the two brothers Joshua and Antonio the two brothers are great heroes of this battle. They stood while all ran. They will not be forgotten. They ought not to be. And we cannot forget the four year olds who, though not part of the fight to begin at the sense of danger defended each other. They were not afraid. The troops of TK were not afraid. They were not afraid. And why ought they be afraid? Why ought they have been? They fought well, better than any army better than the first female unit. They fought in heavier, harder fighting than the nation of TK has ever, ever faced. But they stood their ground, though they had to fall back many a time, being shot. We had almost a casualty. We actually had a casualty on these fields as the battle was fought in a circle a soldier Antonio one of the brothers who had fought bravely was against this tree the president Zachary Arnett came seeing he was hurt and they carried him beyond that point as far as they could before laying them down but the enemy was relentless 
They are, were a relentless enemy. But it is now time to make peace. It is time to make peace. <laughs> but let us never forget the sacrifice and the pain of these soldiers. They went through fighting unimaginable. Unimaginable. <laughs> and they fought with weapons that would not even hurt their enemies. Yet their enemies fought with lethal weapons. They ought not to be forgotten. They should be remembered. And dare I say it, the armies of Buckwheat, even their might, even their might cannot express the determination of these troops. No troops in the nation's history, not Corby, not Claretown, not Buckwheat, not any army fought so valiantly. Those who have fought and did fight in this battle will remember it for times to come. Let us all sleep in peace whilst the guns are silent. Sleep in peace, ye tired soldiers. <laughs>